this will be pretty much the closest we can get to the volcano. We're just trying to fly the drone and see if we can get any views of Aranel. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 359 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in La Fortuna in Costa Rica and look at the view from the front of our room. It looks like a promising night, but mosquitoes got in the way. Probably woke up at about two or three in the morning and then both of us putting on mosquito repellent and then try to go on a hunt, try to find them, but they're always so small and they're so, they so good trained, you know, they just hide for you. So not the best sleep actually last night, despite the fact that the room was beautiful, the place is beautiful, La Fortuna, is a beautiful town but not a beautiful sleep <laughs> anyway it's a new day we've had a coffee and it's time to hit the road I don't have a Costa Rica map just yet so I can't show you the route but we're basically going to be picking up where we left off yesterday and heading towards volcano Arenal which is somewhere over there in the clouds at the moment but we're hoping that uh, the sky will brighten up and we will have a nice view so fingers crossed it certainly looks a lot better than when we arrived here yesterday it was pouring with rain and we couldn't see anything it's looking a little bit brighter so i hope we can see something so we have a busy day ahead and it's already seven o'clock so better hit the road let's go okay ready rock and roll Okay, it just started raining. Can you believe it? <laughs> we just got out here, starting the day, get all our stuff on. <sighs> now we have to put the raincoats on. See ya! Ay, 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 ay. Rainy Ecuador, rainy Colombia, not rainy Panama, but rainy Costa Rica. I oh, know, rainy Panama as well. Look at that, hey? Yeah, we've been wet in every country. <laughs> please stop rain, please. And also, please, clouds disappear, please. So, you know, when every single hotel and hostel here is called Arenal View, Mirador Arenal, Volcano Hostel, you know that we're pretty close to this volcano, but at the moment, it's just white. You can't see anything. I can't even see an outline of this volcano. Nothing, nothing. And it's not existing. Yeah, and apparently we're not very <laughs> far away. It should be just here. Yeah, with a nice view. So I think there's a little trail that goes down towards the volcano coming up on the left. So I reckon we'll take that trail and just see if we can get as close as we can ride really, just to see if we can get a view of this volcano. Can you see an outline? I can't see anything oh man we just have to enjoy the pictures that you see on the hotel advertisements yeah. <laughs> look at this one yes montaña oh, de fuego with a giant volcano wow that's so sad really is so sad oh my god it's a shame sunshine in costa rica Woo! <laughs> yeah we sort of circled around the volcano a little bit and it's definitely better weather on this side and we're starting to see some views of the slopes just over there, but we are getting closer. So who knows, we might be lucky. So we're just following this little trail now. This will be pretty much the closest we can get to the volcano without having to hike. So this will be our best chance of seeing something. So Volcano Arinal is 1,160 meters above sea level, and it's in the Volcano Arinal National Park. And it's basically surrounded by this amazing cloudy rainforest. It was last active in 2010. Ooh, where are we now? Observatory. Oh, hola, yeah. buenas. Hola. Hola. Adios. Uh, no, no, we're just looking, uh, looking the volcano. 
Uh, but yeah. we can't we, see. Yeah. No. <laughs> we can't. We, yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult. Yes. Very difficult. Yes. 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 <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little turn around. Yes. If you can't get views from the observation tower, which is right next to the volcano, then I think you can't get views from anywhere. No. Anyway, what would your dad say? You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> yes. Oh. We're just trying to fly the drone and see if we can get any views of Aranau. But even on the screen, it's like you can see the beginning of the volcano, but the whole top part covered in clouds. Okay, well, we flew the drone literally in front of the volcano. And if you can't see it from the drone, then I think there is no chance that we are going to see the full Arenal today, unfortunately. Well, another reason to come back, hey? There we go. <laughs> so anyway, now, We'll make our way back out of the National Park. It's pretty good that we got the drone up in Costa Rica because our next mission for today is actually to send our drones off. So we are getting closer to the border to the next country on our journey, which is Nicaragua. And actually, Nicaragua has banned drones completely. So you can't even enter the country with the drones. They will confiscate them, they'll give you a fine. And people said they don't get them back. We need to head to a town called Liberia which is one of the last towns before we get to the border to Nicaragua and in Liberia we'll go to I think DHL and basically we're going to send the drone over to the next country after Nicaragua which is Honduras and we're going to send it to a hotel in Honduras where we can then collect it after we've exited. So we have 84 miles to ride to get to Liberia. 84 miles? 84 miles. Seems quite a lot. Yeah still a fair amount to go and if we know the roads in Costa Rica that we've seen so far then it's probably going to take a little while but I'm sure it's going to be twisty and beautiful. Obviously at the car park with a lot of people because they are hungry. Wow! Whoa, Hello. Some beautiful little um, what are their names? Um, Kuati. Oh, Kuati. Kuati. Yes. Hello. It's Hello. a Kuati. <laughs> wow. Hello, beautiful. Hello. These guys are so cheeky. Look at them. The last time we saw these guys was in like uh, Brazil, no? Yes, exactly. Yeah, amazing. Look how many there are. And little babies. It's like a Kuwati paradise here. Yes, look at them. Oh, hello. They just want food, of course, but we ain't have food for you guys. I love them. Absolutely love them. Look how many. Wow. Look how they look. Hello. Mm. Hello. Hello. I don't have food for you guys. No. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I just booped him. <laughs> now he doesn't trust me anymore. I lost his trust. Wow, aren't they such beautiful animals, hey? Wow. They're so cute. Look how many there are. Like, like, I don't know. Like, a, a mix between like a hedgehog and a monkey. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't even know what yes. these guys are like. Amazing. So we're just riding past Lake Arenal and actually the, the road we're taking is kind of going around this lake but it looks like it's a dam because we're kind of riding on the dam wall so I think it's an artificial lake <gasps> Kawati Hello Oh no, you're not supposed to walk on the road guys Come on guys, Please. what's go, going on? Go back in the jungle, please guys <laughs> Wow, he has so many here. That's so cool. This truly is a Kawati paradise. It's a German bakery. <laughs> Looks like it. Should we check what they have? Hello, buenas. You can tell me, is this authentic? <laughs> oh, cool. Look at that. A little chocolate volcano. Yeah. Maybe a little bit too much for us, hey? Yeah, three pound for a pretzel. It's too much, hey? It's too much. Okay, all right. Well, good try though. We didn't have enough money for the German bakery, but this morning I prepared as anyway some really nice Jamata bread. And I had enough money to buy an avocado. So I would have like bread, cheese of course, and marmite with avocado is as good as something from the bakery. And I bought this friend here. Hooray! <laughs> Every day a pineapple. Keep it nice and cool. This town that we've just stopped in, Nuevo Arenal, has like a really old school vibe. It's got like all hand painted signs on the front of the shops, but it's just started raining. <laughs> oh man, it might be like this for the whole day. So we've just gone over the hill from the lake and like the rainforest is gone. It's like open countryside now. So we're gonna take off our coats now because look at it. It's just blue skies. It's hard to believe that this was rainforest. You never know what you're gonna come across on the road, hey? Never know. You never know how it's all gonna change in one moment. I don't think you'll find many Kuwaitis here. Yeah, I mean, if you see something like this, then you would never ever imagine that this is here a rainforest, actually, you know? No, no, you absolutely wouldn't. So we've arrived in Liberia. It's time to find DHL and say goodbye to Pinky and the Brain, our drones. So we still have to go straight here, straight across. For 0 0.2 and then we have to go to the right let's pray that it's open yeah we're not really sure if it's a public holiday today um, because we have a suspicion on google it said that the hours might differ because of a special day today and then it's coming up on the right side here apparently <laughs> okay this is the place Curubanda Express Servicio de Cargas y Encomiendas. They are a DHL authorized agent, but I don't know if they're closed. Are they closed? Are they closed? Just knock on the door, eh? You're gonna try and WhatsApp them? Okay. Yeah, not sure if they're open. minutes later so unfortunately no one is coming out so we have to assume it's closed we have messaged them on whatsapp but we're waiting for them to get back to us so in the meantime there is another place in town called liberty express it's just around the corner so i think we'll go over there and see see if they're open so pinky and brain are inside here now and we got a tracking number and everything sealed up and ready to go. It's not exactly cheap. I think it's costing around 90, 90 pounds, but it's secure. We've got a tracking number and yeah, got no choice. 
Yes, our only option. We found a guest house in Honduras, and this guy said yes, you can send it to my place, uh, which is really nice. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you in like five days or something like that. Bye bye, drones. Luis really helped us here. He speaks English so perfect, so we had no communication issues, and yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and we got a free coffee. <laughs> And another 100 pounds lighter. Hell, we, we are skinny after this trip here. <laughs> less money, less problems. <laughs> All right. Mission All right. successful. We're just going to Taco Bell because I've heard of it, but I've never ever been to Taco Bell before. Oh my God, I'm really hoping badly that they have some vegetarian options. Let's get something in our bellies, hey? Yeah, I'm starving. Here we are. First time at Taco Bell and I just ordered like a vegetarian combo and it's like you get a taco, you get a burrito, you get chips, you get a drink. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but look, I think it's like black beans in there, tomato, mayonnaise and cheese. It's my first taco in my life. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Okay, sending drones mission in Liberia, done. Done. Filling our bellies with Taco Bell mission number two, <laughs> done. Done. So we are now heading out of Liberia and um, we found a place on booking.com which is about 15 minutes further down this road. Basically, this road just goes down to the border to Nicaragua. The border is about an hour away. So tomorrow, we don't have a lot to ride and we'll already be there ready to cross over to Nicaragua. Exciting times ahead! We found a place on uh, booking.com for about £27 which is again just over budget of course but it has an AC which is really important these days because it's like 33 degrees at the moment and the last three days we had a really really terrible sleep it's really taking it out of you if you don't have a good sleep you Absolutely. need the energy during the day you want to visit things you want to experience things but if you don't have a good sleep then you know this is like uh, just so hard yeah i mean we've got a big day tomorrow you know it's another border crossing we'll be heading into the nicaraguan capital managua yes so we really need to be like 100 percent. yeah yeah we need to get an early night tonight we need to be 100 percent and uh, air conditioning is just just <laughs> needed we just need it yeah it's a lifesaver El Cocobolo With the sign of an AC <laughs> <laughs> In this place, this is like the most important things <laughs> Alright Wow, looks like a big place here Oh, there's somebody Hola. <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive Yeah, we have our room with AC and this place is very peaceful. It's out in the countryside. We've got a giant mango tree behind us. We've got coconut trees over here. And it's just beautiful. Very nice and tropical. It's actually really sad that we have to leave Costa Rica tomorrow already because we had a really great time here, except the rain, of course. I love the country so much. It's so nice and green and the people are really friendly and really happy. Yeah, it was a short but amazing visit. I'm so glad that we could actually see like the wildlife in Manuel Antonio and the Coates today and just get to experience like a small portion. Oh, oh hello. Oh. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. Yes. So we've been invited to go for a walk, so we're going to go for a little walk. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. <laughs> the is already up. And he said that here there's 
monkeys, there's even puma apparently up in these hills. It's pretty awesome.